Let's start. Today we will see how to implement Google Map Shapes in Java Android. First of all, we need an API key for our Google Map. For that, go to the cloud.google.com website. Click the console button. Click the select a project option. Click the new project button. Give some name to the project and click create button. Once the project is ready, you will get such a notification. Click the select project button. This is the dashboard of our project. Click the burger menu icon. From this menu list, click the APIs and services option. Then click the enabled APIs and services option. Click the enable APIs and services button. Once you land on this APIs page, click the Maps SDK for the Android section. Click Enable button. Now the Google Maps API is enabled. Click the Credentials option. Now click the Create Credentials button. Choose the API key option. This will generate an API key for us, copy this API key somewhere. You can find your API key listed over here. So now that we have our API key, let's go to the Android Studio. While creating an Android project which includes Google Maps. Always choose this Google Maps activity. This will keep the basic Google Maps code ready for you. First of all, open the local properties file and paste your API key over here like this. This is what the project level Gradle file looks like. In the app level Gradle file, include this plugin. Also, integrate these dependencies. In the manifest file, integrate the location permissions. Inside the application tag, write a meta tag. Inside this meta tag, we have defined our API key like this. Let's see the project structure. Here we have a maps activity, a permissions manager class, and a location manager class. And in the UI we have the activity underscore maps.xml file which is the layout of the maps activity. Let's see the UI. Here we have a fragment that will load the Google map and a button called open map. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the fragment. The name attribute is important. And this is the open map button. Let's see the Java code now. The permissions manager class handles the runtime permissions. The working of this class is explained in one of our previous tutorials on runtime permissions. The link to that tutorial is mentioned in the description. These are the imports. This is the location manager class. These are the data members. First, we implement the singleton object creation pattern so that only a single object of this class would be present throughout the app life cycle. This is the create location request. This function asks the user to enable the location service on the Android device. This is the, is the location enabled function, it checks if the location service is enabled or not. These are the imports. This is the Maps activity that implements an on-map-ready callback interface. This interface has a function called on-map-ready. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, first, we get the instances of the Permissions Manager class and the Location Manager class. When the Open Map button is clicked, first, we check if the location permissions have been granted by the user or not. If the permissions are not granted, we ask for the permissions. When the permissions are granted, we call the open map function. The on request permissions result function handles the result of the permission. If the permissions are granted, we call the open map function here also. In the open map function, we check if the location service is enabled on the Android device or not. If the service is not enabled, we call the create location request function. If the location is already enabled, then we call the get map async function. The get map async function calls this on map ready callback function. Here we call the setup map function. In the setup map function, we design our Google map. 
We specify the location where the Google Map should point, the title, the camera position, the location marker, map style, zoom controls, current location button, etc. Then we call the show polyline, show polygon, and show circle functions. These functions will draw respective shapes on the map. This is the show circle function that will draw a circle on the map around the given coordinates. This is the show polygon function that will draw a polygon on the map around the given coordinates. This is the show polyline function that will draw a polyline on the map around the given coordinates. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement Google Map Shapes in Java Android. Thank you.